Hello everyone, on this week's episode of Sunday Summary, I have a musician who was once part of a band called Deliverance, as well as a video game soundtrack, so stay tuned and check this out, we will see you on the flip side. Hello everyone, Daryl the Northern Vinyl Guy here, and I am ecstatic to talk about my records that I've been listening to this past week. Uh, this past week I've got, um, I think, six or seven albums here, of which three of them for sure are going to be featured in a review, uh, not a series, but a review video that I'm going to be doing, uh, posting later this week, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, if you are new to my channel, uh, please feel free to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave some comments in the section below if you like what I have to say and what I'm doing here. And if you are a returning customer, I do appreciate your support in my channel. So without further ado, let's get to what I've been listening to this week. So just as a recap, a summary, my, my, my Sunday summary series uh, features one Canadian album, one compilation, one soundtrack, one great listen, and then whatever else I've been listening to throughout the week. So uh, let's get started here. So back in the 1970s, there was a Christian band, uh, and they're from Canada, and they were known as Deliverance. Um, in 1979, I believe it was, they had a minor hit with um, Leaving LA, I think it was called. Um, yeah, the band member was a group of brothers, um, one of which later on became a theologist, but prior to become a theologist, in the 1980s, uh, Paul, I believe it's Paul Jans, it's either Paul Jans or Jans, uh, but yes, he did a, I think he had three or four albums in the 1980s, this one here is from the early 1990s, um, called Renegade Romantic a lot of the songs are mellow. They're not. They're not necessarily Christian songs, uh, but this album here, my dad used to listen to all the time when I was younger, uh, my early teenage years as well. Uh, this had a few hits here in Canada: uh, "Every Little Tear," "Almost Heaven," and "Stand." Uh, they were all hits uh, in our country, and so yeah. If you if you haven't heard uh, Paul Jans, I I, I suggest checking them out. Uh, here's the back side. Um, but yeah, no, uh, him and his band, I do have some of the Deliverance albums in my collection, uh, which maybe on my, uh, my Canadiana series, I will feature one day. All right, my soundtrack that I have listened to this week is actually an EP, um, and that is from the video game soundtrack to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, this actually is the house building EP. Um, really cool stuff. If you like that saloon, well, not saloon, but Western music of this video game, um, the opening track, the house building song, is the only one that has lyrics um, by David Ferguson. And then the rest of them are all instrumental, but... Uh, it's just an enjoyable listen. I mean, it's only about a 10 or 12 minute EP. It's not very long. But if you've played the video game, um, you will recognize most of these songs from the epilogue after you beat the game. Um, I do have the other two uh, Red Dead soundtracks in my collection. And one of these days, I think I'm going to listen to them again and feature them on this series. All right, up next we have my compilation, um, and this is on Impact Records. Um, I got this as part of a collection. I'm, I'm missing volume one for some reason. 
Um, I think that there are only, I think there's five or six in this volume um, or in this collection. It is called the All American Pop Collection. Um, and on this one, we've got The Kingsman, we've got um, Bobby Fuller 4, we've got Del Shannon, some Bobby Day, and others. So there you have the All American Pop Collection. But some songs on here, we got Louie Louie. Toss It and Turn and Surf City from Jan and Dean, Runaway, um, Del Shannon, He's So Fine, The Chiffons. We got some Chris Montez and Let's Dance on side two. Bobby Fuller 4, I Fought the Law, Rhythm of the Rain, The Cascades, Donna from Richie Valens. And to finish it off, side two, some Rock and Robin. And as I mentioned, uh, this is not a KTEL this week, uh, but it was made in Canada, but it is on the Impact label. Um, a really cool label actually when you when you look at that particular label so neat stuff um, I do have volumes two through five um, I just got to get number one in my collection all right a great listen that I am listening to this week or that I listened to this week sorry uh, and that is a great band I I am um, I featured the other day on my on um, Rob from Northern Revolutions um, Wednesday night show. I did show this on his show, and that is Firehouse's Hold Your Fire album. Um, once again, this goes back to my high school days. Hair metal band, early 1990s. And of course, this has the power ballad, uh, When I Look Into Your Eyes. But some other great songs on here include Reach for the Sky, Rocky Tonight, Sleeping With You, and of course, the title track, which opens up side B, which is Hold Your Fire, um, and the final song on this, Hold the Dream on Side B, is also a great finishing track. So, um, yeah, if you like that hair metal band, these guys were kind of, I think, overshadowed um, by those late 80s hair metal bands. Um, these guys kind of came out and were a little more prominent towards the end of the hair metal series. So there you go, some Firehouse, Hold Your Fire. Um, and that is on a cool orange vinyl. Really neat stuff. All right, and then I have three more albums. These three albums I will be showing on a future video in which I'm going to review each of these. Um, if you've been watching some of my series lately and, you know, on um, Northern Revolution's Wednesday night series... Um, I've been mentioning that one of my favorite bands, if not my favorite band from the 1980s, is Bruce Hornsby and the Range. Um, they, Bruce Hornsby, I mean, he's gone solo in the 90s and 2000s, but um, during his Bruce Hornsby and the Range days, he did release with the band three albums, and I have all three of those. These are all on Canadian presses. Uh, we've got The, the Way It Is, um, which I think it's from 1987... 1986 this one was released um, so I will be reviewing this this has mandolin rain um, this has every little kiss it has the long race on the western skyline a um, lot of great tracks so I will let you know what my thoughts are on that obviously if they're one of my favorite bands from the 1980s uh, I will definitely be giving these positive reviews but just what order they go in we will have to find out so the way it is I uh, listened to scenes from the south side, Hornsby in the range, right there. Um, and this one has Lookout, Any Window, The Valley Road was the big single from this, and, and The Show Goes On, um, which was on the Backdraft soundtrack. And it also has a cover version of Jacob's Ladder, which was done by Huey Lewis in the News, although written by Bruce Hornsby. So this was the second album released by them and I believe that one was from 1988 uh, just give me a minute here yes 1988 and then their 1990 album uh, A Night on the Town is their third and final one as a group and this one has the um, the single um, Across the River which is one of my 
favorite songs from the 1980s. Um, but it also includes, and I'll be talking about this when I do my review, but um, Sean Colvin, who is better known for her song, Sunny Came Home, um, actually sang on this on a few of the, the tracks, including Barren Ground and Lost Soul. Uh, so I will be talking about that. Uh, so yes, once again, A Night on the Town, Bruce Hornsby in the range. So uh, stay tuned for that as a future video uh, later this week, hopefully. I would like to get that out. So if you enjoyed these records that I listened to this week, uh, please leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments in the section below. Please subscribe to my channel if you are a new viewer to the channel. If you are a returning viewer, once again, I do appreciate your help and your support in this channel. And until next time, we will see you on the flip side.